we have more information about the switch, the new model switch. So this is a new article by Bloomberg. And we remember we were speculating about this because we didn't know what they were going to use for the graphics. Yes. So this article is about the, the graphics. So Nintendo to use faster NVIDIA chips in new 2021 Switch model. Now, uh, I mean, just saying new 2021 is already kind of like a stretch. It's like, yes. are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's being made in 2021. <laughs> yeah, because Nintendo, when they're going to release a new console, they like to hype it up for a while. And then they release five copies. <laughs> that's their mo um all right so let's look at this nintendo plans to adopt an upgraded nvidia corp chip with better graphics and processing for a new switch model plan for the end of the year uh shopping season according to people familiar with the matter again i mean we don't know who these people are we don't know if this is true the new switch iteration will support nvidia nvidia's deep learning super sampling or dlss a novel render rendering technique technique that uses artificial intelligence to deliver high fidelity graphics more efficiently. That will allow the console, which is also set for an OLED display upgrade, to reproduce game visuals at 4K quality when plugged into a TV, said the people who asked not to be identified because the plan is not public. Um, because of the Nintendo ninjas. Yeah. So that's really the only... Oh yeah, and then we have some analysts con uh, talking about potential price, but I mean, they got it right with the PS5. So um, analysts expect the new Switch will be offered at a higher price than the current model, 299 a level unchanged since the Switch's initial release in 2017. Bloomberg Intelligence's Matthew Canterman foresees an increase of as much as $100. $349.99 will increase the value proposition of the device. But I still think Nintendo can drive strong demand even at three ninety nine. Shut up! No one asked you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, so this is what we talked about. Yep. This is exactly what we talked about. We we talked about how they're probably not going to be able to afford or fit a native four K GPU into the Switch. Yeah. So they're most likely going to use DLSS um, upscaling. Um, and do you still stand with where, what you said last time, where you're not interested in, in this kind of upgrade? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was interested in not only just a graphical overhaul, but also performance overhaul, which yeah. I believe this also includes. So, yes, this would, this would produce a graphics performance increase for sure. It would, but it, I'm also talking about just in terms of game performance. But like, yeah, I, 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 like all those drop frames in Age of Calamity better be picked up with this new, more improved console. Yeah. So it, I think it would do good for that, but I still think there's an issue when you come to porting these next gen games to the console. I think that's where the problem's going to lie because. It's not just a, a case of, okay, can it play in 4K or not? It's a case of raw processing power, um, in which case the NVIDIA chips could help process the graphics, but there still wasn't anything in there about a CPU boost. So, I mean, this is being drip-fed. Yeah, so. this is being drip-fed, yeah. So, so can... yeah, I, I, I would say... I'm still maintaining my skepti skepticism about it. Yes. Uh, but I do think they could pull it off with those NVIDIA chips, and it could last. Um, I wouldn't say it could last a whole generation. Like it, I don't think it could last as long as like the PS5 or the Xbox Series X could last. I think they would eventually have to upgrade um, to a newer, like, all-out console uh upgrade but i do think it would be like a good iterative um upgrade that could probably last a couple of years that like that's just my Pro. yeah that's just my yeah. um assessment of it so um no i i agree with you yeah. um and in that regard 
historically speaking, I have supported iter- iter- iterative upgrades. Mm-hmm. Couldn't say that. Uh, and like the new 3DS, PS4 Pro, yep, the Xbox Scorpio, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. As long as, as long as they give you something that you need that you want, yeah, that makes the experience better. Then uh, yeah, I don't mind iterative upgrades because like. Let's be real. That was always the major downside of consoles versus PC. Because I could always just buy some RAM and plug it in my PC. You know what I mean? I could always iterate of upgrade myself. So the fact that they're doing that now just leads me to believe that they realize that. And they know that they have that option and that gamers... They knew about that option since the DS. Yeah. Since the Advance. Yeah. Since the Game Boy Color. Yeah, they've been doing it with they've been doing it with handhelds long before. Yeah. Yeah, they've been doing it with handheld the held handhelds. And I mean the Switch is a handheld is, is their hybrid console. Yeah. It essentially is a super it's like the Cadillac of handhelds. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um all right. 